Hey guys, this is Nick. I'm the audiophiliac for the day. Uh, Steve asked me to do this, so uh, I'm here to tell you a story about my journey uh, as an audiophile and some of my amplifiers. Um, I'm, uh, I had purchased a Rogue Sphinx from Andy Singer uh, about four or five years ago now. Um, probably four. Uh, loved it. Great amplifier, really neutral sounding. Steve, neutral. Uh, really neutral sounding, loved it, thought, uh, uh, really enjoyed it. Bought, bought a pair of speakers from Andy as well, Kudos, uh, K-U-D-O-S. Uh, I have a pair of the C2s, uh, amazing British speaker, really fun to listen to. Uh, polypropylene drivers and stuff, really killer sound. Um, uh, listened to the system for about two, two years, you know, just like that, um, had a you know, small Sony DVD player connected to it. Um, but then I started going out to more shops, listening to more gear, more music. Um, and then I wanted more, you know. Uh, Bug Bit uh, was searching out dif a different amp for a different type of sound. Uh, wanted something with a little bit more full, a little bit more warm, a little bit more uh, romantic. Um, I found a great amplifier, home-built kit. It's a, it's a Hoffler. Uh, DH200, uh, tube input stage, uh, MOSFET output stage, killer amp, uh, 200 watts, just powerful. Uh, drives the speakers really good. Um, the Kudos definitely had more bottom end, more rolled off top end, beautiful mid-range, great sounding amp, really great sounding amp. Um, then uh, I decided to get something a little bit more stable, you know, something uh, kind of uh, with a warranty. Maybe, maybe that, that was good to have. Uh, so I decided to buy some Emotivas. Uh, the Emotiva was an amp that I found to be straight in the middle. Uh, was definitely, had much better highs. Uh, 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 much better highs than the Hoffler. Uh, but much better lower end capability than the Rogue Sphinx. Uh, so it became my middle ground. Uh, but it's probably my least favorite. You know, uh, I kind of like the two extremes. I like the... Uh, the real detail of the Rogue. Uh, I could hear the fingers, uh, fingers plucking strings. I could, I could hear all that detail. Uh, the Hoffler, really cool. Uh, just really uh, romanticizes the sound a little bit. Um, it's evolving. It's fun. Uh, but my, f my favorite out of, out of all three, I have to say, the one that I play the most, uh, the one that I play for when girls come over, is definitely the Hoffler. And uh, I have a good story for you guys. I had a girl come over and she's checking out all my gear. She's looking on the floor. She's like, what is all this? I tell the story that I'm into audio and I try out these different amps, the way they sound. And she became curious, wanted to hear it. So I played a little music for her uh, and she loved it. Uh, well, later on that night, I ended up getting laid. Now, I don't know if it was the Hoffler that, helped, that did it, but it definitely helped out in my situation. Uh, so my go-to amp, uh, and my, my favorite out of the three has to be that, that Hoffler. Um, so again, I'm the audiophiliac, uh, filling in for Steve Guttenberg. Um, I'll catch you guys later.